LinkedIn Sales Navigator is the number one tool for B2B lead generation today. This video will cover six LinkedIn Sales Navigator hacks that 99% of users aren't leveraging that could easily add an extra few hundred thousand dollars to your business every single year. Now, I'm gonna assume that you have basic LinkedIn Sales Navigator knowledge. If you want an entire 30-minute video walkthrough of how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator inside your business, that's a little bit more basic, you can click the link in the description after this video is done and watch one that I've done with over 50,000 views. Okay, with that being said, let's jump right into my computer here. Now we are on the LinkedIn homepage. This probably looks familiar. We're gonna click on LinkedIn Sales Navigator in the top right part of the screen and it's gonna pull up the Sales Navigator page. Now, we're gonna click on all filters and this is where we're gonna start talking about some of these hacks. So hack number one, when you're doing LinkedIn Sales Navigator searches is to start searching by years of experience, this bottom little thing right here. Now years of experience is important because not all leads are created equal. The faster you understand that concept, the more efficient your overall sales process is gonna be. Most people think, oh, let me just try to get as many leads as possible, but in reality, you might be getting on the phone with a lot of people that are not qualified. They can't afford your services. Now is not the right time. And many of these hacks are targeted towards making sure you're only going after really qualified, ready to buy leads. So in the years of experience filter right here, what we could be saying is pretty much like, hey, if they've been in the industry for three, five, 10, 15 years, then there's a good chance that they are a little bit more experienced and probably doing at least a little bit better than someone who has maybe just started. So for example, inside of Scaling with Systems, we only work with established business owners. So when I am doing Sales Navigator searches to do lead generation inside of our company, I don't click less than a year. Sometimes we don't even do one to two years. A lot of times it's three to five years, six to 10 years, and more than 10 years. That way we're getting people that are established, they have case studies, and they have social proof of their offer, and we can rapidly help them scale. If you're using LinkedIn Sales Navigator and you keep on getting on the phone with people that are really unqualified, it could be that you're getting to them too early in their career. Now, our LinkedIn Sales Navigator hack number two is gonna be another way you can filter out people that are maybe just starting or maybe not so serious about their business, and that's gonna be the company headcount filter just below the years of experience. Hey, look, if you like videos like these and you want access to even more content on B2B lead generation, I have a free course in the description down below that you can get access to with over four and a half hours of content exactly like this that shows you how we went from zero to $5 million in two years. Make sure you get access to it now. Now, as somebody with over 30 employees inside of my company, I can tell you that I am a totally different person than I was when I just had one employee. My daily task and role inside the company has changed drastically and more importantly, Importantly, my wants and needs have changed drastically from one employee to 30. You can also assume that someone with a lot of employees is likely generating more revenue than someone with less employees. Now, of course, that doesn't always hold to be true, and a lot of our clients at Scaling with Systems are doing multiple seven figures with only one or two employees, but according to the US Census Bureau in 2015, a non-employer firm earned on average about $50,000 a year, while an employer firm earned around $6 million. On top of that, what the company headcount can let us know is essentially how committed the business owner is to the growth of that business. So if they have multiple employees, well, they can't just kick back and relax and just hope for the best. They have a lot of people that are gonna be relying on them to get a paycheck next month so they can enjoy their life. And thus they're much more dedicated to the business and the growth of the company, which lets me know that they may be more interested in potentially my advertising services or some of our B2B lead generation services. So when I'm using this company headcount and you're using this company headcount, you might not wanna go after self-employed people, but maybe people that at least have one employee or maybe 11 to 50, and you could obviously go all the way up to 10,000 plus. But the important thing here to understand is that it actually at some point, in my opinion, becomes more difficult to reach business owners that have 50 to 200 employees, right? Just like I said earlier, me at 30 employees is gonna to be totally different than me at, let's say, 200 employees. It's gonna be much more difficult to reach me. I'm gonna have different problems. I'm gonna have different wants and needs. And so you really need to second and understand, should I be going after self-employed people or maybe people with just a few employees or maybe you're selling enterprise services and you only wanna go after people with 500 to 1,000 employees? 
One of the best examples that I like to give on this is actually from my own experience, which was I used to run an advertising agency specifically for real estate agents. And in the United States, real estate agents make on average about $45,000 a year. And my services were around $2,500 a month. So I was charging a considerable amount of money to the average real estate agent, and it was really difficult to close those people. But if I were to come in here and search for real estate agents under titles, and then I went down to the company headcount and I said, hey, real estate agents that have 10 employees underneath them, well now those people are likely making more than that $45,000 a year. And on top of that, they're gonna have real estate agents underneath them that they need to feed leads to that are hungry, and thus they're gonna be more likely to want my services. If you guys are getting any value out of this video whatsoever, please make sure to smash the like button down below. Now, my third LinkedIn sales navigator hack is going to be using the became a member filter on your search results. This may seem trivial to you, Ravi, why do I care when they became a member? Well, let's be honest here. Any one of us that signs into LinkedIn probably has 10, 15, maybe even 20 unsolicited DMs every single day of someone looking to do business with us. Now, while some of them may be actually valuable, a lot of the times we don't even get to any of them because we're bombarded every single day with so many of them. If, however, we had joined LinkedIn yesterday or in the past, you know, seven days, then it's a lot less likely that we are being bombarded with all these messages, which means it's more likely they're they're gonna read a message, which means it's more likely they're gonna to respond to a message. And that's exactly what we want here. We're looking for more quality leads that we can go after. So you're gonna use the became a member filter search here to go after leads that are a lot less likely to be essentially fatigued by all of the messaging going out on lead generation and more likely to read your messages. Whoo, is it getting hot in here or is that just me? Now, the next and arguably one of the most exciting LinkedIn Sales Navigator hacks I want you to use is the group filter on the search results here. Now, what groups lets us know is that this person is actively searching or actively interested in a specific set of information. If you've watched my market research video, you know that I define a niche as a specific group of people with a specific problem. And inside the groups filter in here, you can actually find both of those in one group. For example, like I talked about earlier, my real estate advertising agency, if I were to come into the groups filter here and I was gonna type in real estate lead generation, you can see that there are already literally dozens of groups that say real estate lead generation and conversions, which are most likely gonna be real estate agents looking for information on lead generation and conversions of those leads, which are my prime target market. They're already a specific group of people, real estate agents, and if they're looking to learn more information on lead generation, then their problem most likely is that they can't generate enough leads, and that's exactly who I want to be going after. Obviously, if you're really smart, you can actually layer a lot of these hacks together. So you're going after people in specific groups with a specific number of employees that have been in the industry for a specific number of years that maybe just got on LinkedIn in the past few days. Is that a targeted list or what? Now, my fifth LinkedIn sales navigator hack is actually going to be once we find the search results we're looking for. So let's just go to United States. Uh, we'll just put this in here and let's just use real estate since I'm already using that example. Real estate agent as a title. And we, let's say we don't add any other filters, we click search. Well, one of the other filter tabs that I like to use is actually the posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days. So if we click on that tab over here, these are people that have obviously posted on the LinkedIn platform in this past month. And because they posted on the platform in the past month, they're more likely to be engaged and active on LinkedIn. And because they're more likely to be engaged and active on LinkedIn, that means that they're more likely to be checking their inbox. And because they're more likely to check their inbox, they're more likely to see the messages that you're sending them using my incredible training. One of the worst mistakes I see people do when they're using LinkedIn Sales Navigator is they just send the same message to everybody on LinkedIn. But the issue is that a lot of people aren't on LinkedIn daily. And so you only have a certain amount of messages that you can send every single day on the platform. And when you're wasting them on people that only check their LinkedIn account once every month or once every six months, then you're gonna really lower your sales cycle window. You're gonna lower the amount of leads you're getting from it and the amount of closed deals you're getting from it. So instead, like I've discussed this entire video, we only want to be targeting the really high quality prime ready to buy people on this platform. And one of the ways we know we're getting in front of them is using this filter right here to make sure that they see our messages. And the final arguably most important LinkedIn sales navigator hack I have for you. Number six is using the account results tab here. 
Now, let me caveat this. I do believe that people do business with people, not businesses, and that's why a lot of our most successful lead generation campaigns have been person to person, right? That's why I always recommend my clients using personal Instagram pages, personal Facebook pages to do a lot of their business because it's much more personable. Think about it. You're much more likely to respond and have a conversation with Ravi Wabala than if a page messaged you called Scaling with Systems. So for that reason, I don't use the account results tab inside of here all that often, but it does have some really interesting features I want you to be aware of. And there's a little workaround that you can get to the same people you were going to message in the lead results tab. So if we're under the account results tab, let's say in the industry we're going after, let's just say we'll do advertising here. Okay. So let me just type in marketing and advertising. And one of the really cool things about this, is we can come down here and say annual revenue. Now, this is not something that you could do under the lead results, but we can do under the company results. So you could say in millions, I want an advertising agency that's doing anywhere from one to $5 million a year in revenue. We add that in there and you can see that there's going to be about 18,000 results of people in here. Now, once again, I don't love messaging. I mean, this one's literally called private company, but you know, Parlin's R8, Social Beat. I don't like messaging those people in particular, but if you look at this small little button down here, it says view all employees. And if we clicked on view it all employees down here, now we can actually message the co-founder of this company. We can go back and send a direct message to someone that we know is doing millions of dollars every single year. Okay, so that is the cool part about the account filter inside of LinkedIn Sales Navigator is that you can actually use the account filter to filter by annual revenue or softwares they use or anything like that. And then click that view all employees button below it so that you can go and message these specific people. So it is the benefit of the person to person lead generation and conversations with the also benefit of using the annual revenue or softwares that they use filter in the accounts tab. If you want access to over four and a half hours of content on the exact steps that I took to go from zero to $5 million in two years, using a lot of the same tactics that we talked about this video, there is a link in the description down below where you can get immediate access to a free course that covers all of that. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the six LinkedIn sales navigator hacks that I've used to make over $5 million on the platform. If you did get value out of this video, please be sure to like and subscribe so you can get access to other videos that I put out on a weekly basis, just like this. Finally, be sure to click the video on your screen right now and watch the full LinkedIn sales navigator breakdown, which is over 30 minutes long. 50,000 views, and it's gonna show you how to leverage the entire platform of LinkedIn to make a lot more money in your business this year. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.